All right, so super impromptu video here. Um, I'm making a mount so I can hang my string trimmer on the wall. So I've got here, I just found a piece of MDF head laying around. I'm gonna use that to kind of keep that from dinging up the sheetrock. This is going to my garage, not my shop. So it'll just make me feel better if that's resting against something other than the wall. So then I come up here and uh, I've got this piece of plywood that I had laying around the shop. And that's going to be the bat. All right, and what I've done here is I've found another piece of plywood and I measured up. What I'm going to do is I want it to catch right here. So I'm going to have basically a guide, a little notch that this is going to slide into. So to do find that height, what I did. So I just came in here and kind of measured how far out I wanted it to go. And then I gave it a little extra. So that's that line right there. So I'm going to cut that. And then what I did was I figured out what I'd like is a 45. I'm going to put a 45 on the back. Right in there. Some, man, I'm not doing real well with this, am I? I'm going to put a 45 in the back somewhere like that. So I just came and kind of measured. That's that line right there. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cut this off. All right. So what I did was I cut that down just like I said I was going to. And that's going to sit like that. And I'm going to put a notch right down the middle. And then I've got this. And that's going to go there like that. And we'll cut it at a 45. All right. So I took this piece. And I marked the back of that tube. You can see that line right there, right? So that's the back. So I'm going to come just a little bit inside of that. And I'm going to make a mark over here, and I'm going to cut a groove out the front of this, the width of that tube. And then this is my 45 degree. I'm going to cut this, and that's going to be my brace. All right, so I came in with a pair of calipers. It's going to give me my width, and that's what I'm going to use to make the distance here. I'm going to drill. I use a hole saw, start it, and then mark this at that width, and then cut it with a bandsaw. All right, so I drilled the hole with a uh, cheap Harbor Freight hole saw, and now I'm going to cut this out. All right, so now we've got this piece cut like this, and it'll go like that. Let's do this. I'll center it up like that, and then I'll put this 45 right there. And then slide my weight eater right there. All right then. Let's All see right. what else I got. So I was feeling a little bougie. I busted out the round over bit. Got out, brought out some wood glue. Glued that up. Threw a couple screws in the back. Rounded this over. I guess I could if I wanted to trim this so that it's as wide as that. I might have to do that. Let's see how that looks. All right, so yeah, I had to trim that. My, I wasn't gonna be able to look at that being all wide and and it still fits the uh, still fits the bottom of the, of the trimmer. So now I'll go hit this with some paint. I may put some filler in here. It chipped out a little bit, but it's just holding a weed eater, so it's not a huge thing. But I am going to paint it because it'll drive me nuts if it's not. And uh, there it is. Quick and easy weed eater hanger.